Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can overclock your monitor using AMD's Crimson Radeon settings menu. Now, the monitor I'm going to be using here is the BenQ RL2455HM 1080p monitor. This monitor's stock refresh rate is at 60Hz, and I'll be showing you how you can overclock it to 75Hz. This is a really simple process, and it works with other monitors as well. I actually helped my friend overclock his LG 24MP57 to 74Hz using this exact method. But just, but just keep in mind your results may vary depending on what which monitor you have. So onwards to the tutorial, it's pretty simple and straightforward. First, open up uh, Kerms and Radeon settings from the system uh, tray in the bottom right corner. Then click on the display tab on the top. Here you'll be brought to a menu that will show you display devices connected to your PC. Um, in the top right corner, you'll see additional settings. Click on that. Right after that, you'll be brought to a menu that looks just like the old-fashioned Catalyst Control Center. On the left side of the menu, you'll see under, dis under uh, digital flat panels, you'll see an option for custom resolutions and in brackets, you'll see digital flat panel. So once, once you get to this menu, or uh, sorry, um, before that, you'll see a warning message pop up. Just click on accept or I agree and just continue on. Then you'll see a menu that will allow you to create new custom resolution profile. Click on new and then in the base mode section where it says refresh rate, your, yours will probably, probably say 60 hertz. Just raise that to 75 hertz and keep the timing standard to CBT and then don't touch anything else. Once you've done that, hit verify. Your screen will go black for a couple of seconds, but don't worry, that's normal. Once your screen comes back up, you'll see a message that says, do you want to accept these settings? Just click on yes. Now that if your mo now if your monitor stays black and it doesn't display anything or gives you a message that says something like the monitor is out of range, then just wait about 10 seconds and it should come back on since you still have to click yes to finalize the settings. So therefore, it will revert back to the old settings. The other thing that I want to mention is that after I did this, my color settings were all messed up. So there's actually a pretty simple fix for this if that happens to you. you all you got to do is just go back to the Radeon additional settings menu and then where it's on go back go on the right you'll see display color just go here and then just set the colors to your preferences and then everything else should be just fine um that may not happen to you when my friend did overclocked his monitor he said that he didn't experience any color issues with his so once you've done that you will have overclocked your monitor's refresh rate to 75 hertz now there are a couple ways you can check to validate your results the first way is to right click on the desktop desktop click on display settings and then at the bottom here, click on Advanced Display Settings, go on Display Adapter Properties, go to Monitor, and it should say Screen Refresh Rate at 75Hz. The other way you can check to see if your monitor's refresh rate is at 75Hz is to use these a couple of uh, web or a few websites to check uh, what your monitor's uh, refresh rate is. So here, this website's called www.vsyncTester.com. So here it says that my monitor's refresh rate is at 74.995 hertz. So that's 75 hertz. Another website is called uh, testufo.com. Test here it says that the monitor's refresh rate is at 75 hertz. Here just doing um, a, a motion test here. And another one is called, um, it's from the same website, but this one here uses uh, these UFO little images that are going across the screen. Here you can um, select how many pixels per second you want to go at, increase the, which increases the speed. Again, it's saying 75 hertz, which validates the result. And then if you want, you can even increase the number of UFOs to see the difference here. That pretty much covers this tutorial, guys. I hope you guys found this uh, informative and helpful. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, then hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys and as always take care and I'll see you in the next one.